Famed physicist Stephen Hawking expanding his search for life in outer space. Hawking tells us about Hawking's new mission to explore the stars. If we are to survive as a species, we must ultimately spread to the stars. Last July, the best-known theoretical physicist on the planet joined a Russian billionaire to launch Breakthrough Initiatives, a program searching for extraterrestrial life. On Monday, from the highest room in the Western Hemisphere, Professor Stephen Hawking and Yuri Milner announced the latest of those initiatives, what they call Breakthrough Starshot. This is Alpha Centauri. Milner, Hawking, and the rest of the Starshot team want to send thousands of tiny starships to a star 25 trillion miles away. Space travel, as we know it, is slow. And so, as recently as a decade ago, this mission would have seemed inconceivable, if not absurd. But advances in microfabrication... From something like this to something like this. Nanotechnology and photonics allow the Starshot team to design a new propulsion system, a thousand times faster than the fastest spacecraft we have today. To get something that is not of uh, subatomic particles or atomic particles to go really fast. Light beams, light sails, and the lightest spacecraft ever built. Starshot plans to fire lots of lasers into one concentrated beam and then direct that beam toward a light sail attached to a postage stamp sized star chip containing cameras, photon thrusters, a power supply, and navigation and communication equipment. A fully functional space probe that can be held with two fingers and mass produced at the cost of an iPhone. This nanocraft would sail through space at 20% of the speed of light, allowing it to reach Alpha Centauri, that neighboring star, within 20 years. By launching one tiny starship a day, we could map our universe, identifying planets that might sustain life and those that already do. Starshot hopes to reach Alpha Centauri within our lifetime, but identified a long list of obstacles it must first overcome to do so. For the first time in human history, we can do more than just gaze at the stars. We can actually reach them. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Boggles my mind that there are people smart enough to even be able to quantify what is potentially it's out so there. It's so fascinating, and, and it feels like we're getting close because everybody's talking about it so no, much definitely. these days. Sure.